Hey, deserving listeners, 90 Day Fiance. Let's watch. Raised in Ghana. Ghana. You smell good. <laughs> When I first seen Dr. Obain, my first impression is, are you married? (laughs) So, one, it's not usually okay to flirt with people that you're in a venue where that doesn't make a lot of sense. It'd be as if a client came into my office and decided to flirt with me when they met with me. It's it's a crossing of a boundary. It's mildly sexual harassment. It, it's not okay. It puts people in very uncomfortable position, and you don't know how people are going to react to that. Maybe for some people it's flattering. Maybe for some people it's neutral. But you don't know. I mean, for some people, it, it can really make them uncomfortable if we, of course, reverse the genders, which isn't an exact analogy, of course we would see that more readily. If she were a man and the doctor was a woman and he was talking this way, we would say, whoa, 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 pal, back off. Just because it's a woman doesn't mean it's okay. Now, we understand that men are much more likely to be domineering and harmful to women, but it's not that, it's not as if women aren't harmful to men because they are. It's something that is often denied in our society, but it happens all the time. Statistics show that. Now, maybe the doctor is just taking it as a joke. I'm, I'm hoping that's the case, but you know, we just don't know that. The other aspect of this, of course, is that Michael, uh, when he, if he were to do something like this, she would flip her wig which would be somewhat understandable to flirt openly with another person, particularly on camera, particularly since you know your spouse is going to see it when this season comes out, is inconsiderate. And for her especially to do, I mean, if, if he did, if Michael did anything like this, can you imagine what she would do to that? So I'm just, maybe she's just nervous, you know, maybe we'll just chalk it up to that. And maybe Michael will be okay with it. But I just want to point that out. Dr. You met with Dr. Kashani. Yes. Okay? And I know that he's going to do the surgery for you to lose weight. After surgery, after you lose weight, you're going to have more loose skin. And that's where I come in. Okay. okay? I'm going to step outside. I want you to change into a gown. Okay. Okay, I will come and I will examine you. I'll look ah. at your arms, your breasts, your tummy. Ah. And we can talk about... Uncool. Uncool. If you are a physician and you examine people's bodies and they sexualize it, uncool. I I know plenty of physicians and massage therapists and other people who deal with the human body and to sexualize it is completely not okay. It borderlines on criminal. I mean, just saying something probably isn't a crime. But a lot of people, massage therapists, physicians, have to deal with all sorts of harassment like this. You're, you're at the doctors. Just be a patient. You're okay. It's not sexualized. Don't think of it that way. Not okay. You're going to have more loose skin. Your breasts will sag more, okay? I'm going to examine you, okay? So I'm going to take a look. I'm not going to remember when I leave this room. Oh, you're going to remember these. I can tell you. Okay, so we do one breast at a time. I'm going to blush now. Now, I'm not sure I understand why we have to watch this scene. <laughs> like, do the cameras have to be in the room while she has having her medical exam? What's the purpose of this scene being on the show? I, I don't understand. We can put your shit on. There's a bunch let's, of sun coming out. Let's cover one breast. Oh, God, okay. this is embarrassing. I started getting all blushy and stuff, but I had to realize I'm married. That's not my husband. <laughs> God, they're pretty though, aren't they? Right. So what I'm gonna do? Are they pretty you, though? They are very beautiful. To be saggy. Just, uh, <laughs> just kidding. So that's another possibility that I will add to is that she has tremendous shame. I don't know. She certainly doesn't seem that way. But when some people have body shame, and a lot of people do, one of the ways they cope with it is to make a lot of jokes and to sexualize it and to kind of lean into it somehow. So maybe that's a reason why she's making all these jokes. Maybe she feels like she has to say jokes in front of the camera. I don't know. I don't think that she is the sort of person who would harass someone. But I will say just everyone out there, I think everyone out there knows that they shouldn't sexualize a visit with a physician. 
or a massage therapist or a nurse or a therapist. It's, it's not a sexual situation. When a patient comes to my office and of course they are flirting with me or hitting on me, we try to keep it professional, but it does happen, you know? And Angela is no different and uh, she's a very beautiful woman. I try to entertain it, but not entertain it. So we might dance in circles. And that's a similar thing I do with Angela. You know, you don't want to offend somebody. I don't yeah, so just listen to what he has to deal with. So he, apparently other people do it with him as well. He says that he has to dance around it he, because he can't offend them. I, I'm guessing it's because of customer service. You, you want to retain the customers, and so you can't offend them. I'm guessing they're, make, they stand to make a lot of money from this customer. And so you have to deal with it. You can't say, hey, could you please lay off on the jokes? You have to entertain it somehow while also trying to act professional. So it's just a terrible position that he's been put in. Okay, we can do it at the same time. The surgery would take about three hours. This will also help you. It's not sitting on your chest, okay? It's not just so heavy on you. You'll be more active. You can move around more. You will lose more weight. You can find better clothing to wear. You'll feel more confident. Of course, you're very confident. Yeah, but uh, in, inside, I'm not. On the outside, I am. Okay, so she just it said that, that she says, on the outside, I'm confident, but on the inside, I am not. That was my suspicion, is that she is very scared and very ashamed and very worried and her way of coping with it is to make jokes and she doesn't know that it is inappropriate to make those kinds of jokes she might even think she's flattering him in some way so yeah and i get it and i would be scared too and i would be worried about oh my god all these strangers are looking at my body you know it's it's concerning all right well that does it for that episode of psychology in seattle everyone out there please take care of yourself because you deserve it you really really do